morning. My name is Shereen Abadi. I stand before you to declare the importance of democracy and human rights, especially those of women and children. My family was centered around academics and practicing Muslims. My family was filled with love, kindness, and affection. I had two highly educated sisters and a brother who motivated me every day. I received my law degree in 1968. I officially began to serve as a judge in March of 1969. While serving, I continued my education and received a doctorate in honors, with honors in private law at the Tehran University in 1971. I held various positions in the Justice Department. I became the first woman in the history of Iranian justice to have served as a judge. Following the victory of the Islamic Revolution in February 1979, since the belief is that Islam forbids women to serve as judges, I and other female judges were released from our post and given clerical duties. I became a clerk in the court I had once administered. We all protested. Due to this protesting, all of us former female judges were promoted to experts in the Justice Department. I then retired early, as I cannot tolerate the situation any longer. In 1992, I attained my own lawyer's license and set up my own practice. After achieving this license, I accepted to defend many cases. Some were national cases. Amongst them, I represented the families of the serial murder victims. I took on several social cases as well, including lots of child abuse, which really hit me, influencing me into wanting to do something. I believe it is necessary to bring an end to the exploitation of children and to defend the human rights of women and girls around the world. This includes the right to education, employment, and equal freedoms. The aspect of women and youth leaders must be nurtured and encouraged. Women and children around the world are not able to enjoy the same basic rights and freedoms as men. However, the problem is more than just unjust rights. It is also the harsh and unnecessary exploitation and oppression that women and children face. Child labor, slavery, or near slave conditions for women and children, forced marriages, prostitution, and domestic violence are suffered by millions. Children are subject to abusive treatment all over the world. In 2006, it was estimated that 218 million children between the ages of 5 and 17 were working. Children are bought and sold and forced into prostitution or work, all without pay. A woman should trust her own capabilities. She should be confident. There is one problem. Women lack self-confidence. Women should believe themselves and what they can accomplish. It is crucial that women, that people everywhere, work to ensure that all women and children can be safe and free. We must also work to propel leadership roles for women and children in their communities, as I did when I took a stand by retiring and setting up my own practice. When they have a voice in what happens in their communities and lives, they can help make sure their rights will continue to be protected. As more people are allowed to be educated, more of the workforce will become highly skilled, leading to a long-term positive development. Thank you.